With 44 chapters of advice, what things are still unresolved in your head that keep you up at night? <laughs> That's a good uh, If there's anything that troubles me late at night, it's usually, it usually comes back to education. It isn't that the country's going to collapse. That's nonsense. It isn't all the babblers that we have running around on television. It's education because it can be an Achilles heel if we don't fix our education and not just the dropout problem, but fix our education in a way that all of our kids are not only getting a quality education and passing those math and science tests and English tests that they have to pass, but beyond that, educating our youngsters as people who respect art and beauty uh, and are physically fit. I've been remembering, I'm 75 now, and I've been remembering my high school years recently. I don't know, somehow those latent memories come back later in life. Some of you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> the recent memories don't come back. That <laughs> uh, but I, uh, somehow I'm suddenly remembering as a kid in a public school in New York, uh, not a very great student. It was the high school you went to when you couldn't get into a good high school. But I still remember listening to Ravel's Bolero hmm. on a 78 RPM. They insisted that this little Jamaican immigrant kid had to listen to Ravel's Bolero. And I still remember lantern slides. Mm -hmm. We're old enough for that, sure. aren't we? Of Rembrandt's The Night Watch. Uh, or of suffering through uh, Chaucer's Canterbury Tales. <laughs> uh, there's few of you of that age. Um, but for some reason, they exposed me to all of this and it shaped me uh, and I didn't realize I was being shaped until much much later and I hope we don't fix our education system in a way that art and literature uh, and beautiful music and physical fitness are removed so that we can just take math and English and, and math English and science tests that's not what education is all about education is producing a well-rounded person who understand the beauty in life and not just uh, how to do the essential tool, use the essential tools of, uh, of math, science, and English. We need a rounded person. So be careful with the tests that we're giving our kids at the exclusion of these other things.